hello i welcome you all to this channel and uh, with this video i am starting with the symmetry and group theory so in this particular video we'll be just uh, looking at symmetry elements what exactly are symmetry elements fine uh, let us begin with the video before that uh, if you like this video please you can uh, give a like to this video and uh, you can share this video with your friends please subscribe to our channel and uh, for notifications of uh, new videos please press the bell icon let us continue with the video right first we should understand these two terms symmetry element and symmetry operation for any molecule we can have some symmetry elements and on those symmetry elements some symmetry operations can be performed so before we begin we begin with anything in this uh, symmetry aspect we should know what exactly is symmetry element element and what exactly is symmetry operation and what is the difference between these two let me illustrate illustrate this uh, with the help of uh, water molecule so this is water molecule now so on this water molecule i can imagine a axis so this has been indicated here so i can imagine this is a imaginary axis symmetry element i am demonstrating now so this imaginary axis it will be called a symmetry element right so it will be imaginary there will not be uh, anything uh, like this in reality in the molecule we imagine a axis in the molecule so that if we rotate the molecule on this axis in this case what i have done is on this axis the molecule it has been rotated 180 degrees clockwise direction in clockwise direction and what i get is i get a different orientation of the molecule and just to understand the different orientations i have just labeled this hydrogen atoms so here it is h a here it is h b it is just to distinguish these two uh, both are hydrogen atoms itself so if i rotate the molecule on this axis by say 180 degree this hydrogen it will take up this position and this hydrogen it will take up this position and the orientation of the molecule it will change from this orientation to this orientation but further if we look at these two orientations of molecules there is no significant difference at all so this is also water molecule with uh, Uh, one particular orientation and this also water molecule with second orientation but these two orientations you can say that they are indistinguishable say if someone goes out and at that time i rotate the molecule by 180 degrees and when he comes back i have uh, this orientation of molecule definitely he will not be able to distinguish between these two so therefore these two orientations they are indistinguishable and such indistinguishable uh, orientations they can be called as equivalent but we should be cautious enough here we cannot call these two orientations as uh, equi uh, identical we cannot call them as uh, identical we can just say them as equivalent so why we can cannot call them as identical it is because identical it refers to this orientation where h is present here b is present here so therefore these two orientations they are not identical but they are equivalent or indistinguishable now let us come back to the symmetry element and symmetry operation see any such operation see here uh, the operation it is rotation of the molecule by 180 degrees on this axis that is the operation any operation that leaves the molecule in indistinguishable or equivalent orientation such a operation on that molecule itself is known as symmetry operation so symmetry operation i repeat so it is a operation on molecule right so when that operation is performed on molecule it should leave the molecule indistinguishable from original appearance or original orientation such a operation it will be called as symmetry operation on that molecule now this symmetry operation it will be performed with reference to something for example in this case this symmetry operation operation of rotation it is performed with reference to this axis of rotation this axis or uh, uh, the basis of operation we perform the operation with reference to something that reference or that basis that itself is called as symmetry element right so symmetry element it is basis for symmetry operation and on symmetry element on uh, a symmetry element we can perform symmetry operation now let me use uh, three dimensional uh, uh, animation to demonstrate the same phenomenon so of course in this case easily it can be understood but uh, uh, some difficult cases uh, all operations it cannot be shown in a two dimensional uh, uh, way so in that case definitely we should go for three dimensional animation so let me start that with the okay uh, let us see see in this particular case the axis which is 
represented as C2 that is the symmetry element and further on that particular axis this is axis C2 axis here you can find that on that axis the molecule it has been rotated that particular rotation of molecule by 180 degrees it is symmetry operation. So from different orientations so that has been shown. So this is C2 axis on this axis the molecular uh, rotation whatever I uh, have shown that will be symmetry operation. Fine. So uh, just uh, one symmetry element and one symmetry operation we have seen but on a molecule different kinds of symmetry elements SE here I have used it as short form for symmetry element and SO for symmetry operation. So different symmetry elements and different symmetry operations are possible. And uh, this is for uh, molecular symmetry, not for crystallographic symmetry. In case of crystallographic sym symmetry, along with these, uh, a few more will also come. So, but uh, here for molecular symmetry, these are the symmetry elements, how they are represented, five symmetry elements we have. And further, uh, uh, these are exactly operations what we are performing on those particular symmetry elements. See, first now, uh, just now what I have demonstrated, it will be called as proper axis that symmetry element it will be called as proper axis which is denoted by CN capital C subscript N right. So and on this axis on this symmetry element the operation that can be performed is one or more rotation it can be just one rotation or on the same axis multiple rotations are also possible uh, when we go with the more number of examples then we will come across uh, uh, all different kinds of rotations that are possible on proper axis. Second one it is called as plane of symmetry the symmetry element is plane of symmetry which is indicated by sigma. Right. So, on this the perform uh, the operation that will be performed is reflection with reference to that particular plane of symmetry imaginary plane which is present in the molecule that is taken as symmetry element on that particular plane the molecule it will be reflected and reflection is the operation. And the third one, third one it is called as improper axis of rotation. So, in fact this improper axis of rotation it is just combination of these two proper axis as well as uh, plane combined together they will it will be referred to as improper axis of rotation and improper axis of rotation it will be indicated by SN. So it is S subscript N right. So as I said earlier so it is just rotation first we will rotate uh, the molecule and then we take uh, reflection in a plane but very important thing uh, that plane which we are uh, using for reflection that should be a perpendicular plane to uh, the rotation axis. Right. So, all these things we shall understand when we go in detail with the uh, uh, improper axis of rotation. So, at this point we can just understand that this improper axis of rotation it is a separate symmetry element itself and on that operation it will be rotation plus reflection. Then there is one more inversion center which is indicated by I. So, this is again an imaginary center present in the molecule which will be taken as symmetry element. So, on that so uh, from that point all the parts of the molecule they get inverted. So this inversion it is said to be operation on inversion center I and the lastly identity. So identity simply it is do nothing which is indicated by E. So here uh, we can say that operation it is do nothing just nothing is done on the molecule that can be said as operation or even 360 degree rotation any molecule for that matter if we rotate it by 360 de degree rotation uh, it is uh, as good as doing nothing on the molecule. So therefore even 360 degree rotation that can be taken as uh, a symmetry operation for uh, identity. So these are uh, symmetry different kinds of uh, symmetry elements. So in the coming videos one by one we can uh, just look into uh, the, into the details of uh, different uh, uh, symmetry elements. This video it has uh, helped you. So uh, if this video has helped you please, please you can uh, give a like to this uh, video and you can subscribe this channel and uh, you can press uh, bell icon for uh, uh, notifications of uh, new videos. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you again.